Estás viendo Canal América, Televisión Dominicana para el Mundo. Time for True Show is sponsored by the office of Dr. Bernard Fiakoff, a periodontal, dental implant and laser specialist in New York City for over 40 years. Dr. Fiakoff was honored by the International College of Dentists and Pierre Fauchard and received the Presidential Lifetime Humanitarian Honor from the White House. Call us at 718-229-3838. Sometimes life can be so damn hard You don't know where to go Everything is falling apart yeah. You try to do your best But only God knows that you Given everything you've got The world takes you down You just keep moving on at your feet. Welcome to a Time for True show. I'm your host, Dr. Bernard Fialkoff, and it's a pleasure to welcome you back with us again today. Tonight, we have a very special show about a great event, a global drug-free world conference which was held at the United Nations headquarters in room seven, and many global leaders from all parts of our world came to discuss how we could unite and actually prevent and help to decrease this drug crisis that we're having, a crisis that's caused 106,000 American deaths in 2021, compared to 10 years a Vietnam War, where some total was 58,000. 58,000 is a lot of people, but if you multiply 106 by 10 years, you get about a million 60,000 deaths that would have occurred from drugs in the same 10 year period. So we organized this event and was helped by many, many different people. And especially we want to actually compliment the permanent mission of Turkey to the United Nations, which helped us to have this event. Kojep, with its leader, President Ali Gerikoglu, and Fopal, with its leader, Dr. Hong Tao Zi. And I want to show you so many of the dignitaries who came to partake in this incident, an engineer, if you can put up the first slide, I want to start introducing you to what happened this day at the UN and show you the dignitaries that were present. And uh, if you can, there we go, we stay right on that slide. And there you see Pastor Ruben Diaz Sr., who has a tremendous force in New York City, bringing the clergy together, speaking about the importance of the clergy and religious leaders of all faiths in New York City in this drug crisis. Next to him, you have the secretary, executive secretary of the Guatemalan National Drug Council, Mr. Freddy Anzueta, and uh, he spoke about how his country has been educating, utilizing the drug-free world materials and how they help to educate and help people to make empowered decisions. If we go to the next slide. There you see an award that we presented to the Turkish permanent mission. Alongside me is a very great supporter, Salwa Kader. We call her Sally. And uh, Salwa and I presented this award to Anil Kalayar of the Permanent Mission of Turkey. Uh, you'll see her in the previous, in the pictures that will come to Vanna Varan, also from the Mission of Turkey. 
and we were very, very honored to be able to represent at the United Nations thanks to their help. Go on to the next slide. Here you see one of our speakers, international TV host, Bomba Brito, speaking about the importance of entertainers and their effect and influence on people and young people all over the world. Next slide. Here you have former Harlem Globetrotter, Robert Zorro Hunter, founder of Artists Against Violence, speaking about the importance of arts, of sports, and discipline and education for our youth, and he said something very significant that I want to repeat. Mr. Hunter calls this World War III. And this is humanity against drugs. The next slide, please. Here you have the Secretary of Guatemala and Zueto, who we already have covered. So we'll go to the next slide. Here we have the director of the Southern Region of the Council, National Council of Drugs of the Dominican Republic, Carlos Manuel Perez Gonzalez, who was representing his council, the director and president of the council, General Miguel Marte could not attend, but he sent Carlos in his place. And Carlos spoke again about education, sports, and the importance of giving our youth discipline and the truth about drugs, which they do every single day in the Dominican Republic. And Drug Free World is very happy, again, to partner with them. Next slide. Here you have the president of Honduran dentists and surgeons who came to speak about his agreement with Drug Free World and the intention to educate his whole country with those materials so that their youth are protected from drugs, from addiction, and from death. Next slide. Here we have another globetrotter, Charles Chu Smith from Baltimore. And Chu spoke about his tremendous community program, the whole area that he's building in Baltimore to help his community with sports, with education, and with a whole community concept that he's actually organized in Baltimore. We were very happy to have Globetrotter Chu Smith with us. Next slide. Here you have the president of the World Council of Mayors and the Historic Black Towns and Settlements Association, the Honorable Johnny Ford, speaking about the agreement that we have with all of his mayors of bringing education to his cities and his towns. Next slide. Here we have the president-elect of the Hispanic Dental Association of America, Martha, Dr. Martha Mutis, discussing the role of dental practitioners in educating patients and uh, the Hispanic Dental Association has invited me to speak at their annual convention in San Antonio in June, where I'll be speaking about the dangers of vaping and marijuana. Next slide. Here we have Dr. Benoit Verma, past president of the New York State Academy of General Dentistry, Nassau County Dental Society, speaking about the health impacts on patients and the community at large, and how dentistry has taken a stand against drugs to protect wellness, which is one of the UN sustainable goals. Next slide. <clears throat> Here you have Queen Mother Blakely and representative at the UN, a woman who works relentlessly helping all causes, all peoples. We are very happy to have Queen Mother with us. Here you have Dr. Robert Traeger, past president of the Queens County Dental Society, the Nassau County Dental Society, and a special honoree of Pierre Fouchard and the International College of Dentists, who spoke on the importance of uniting and educating and getting dentistry and all the health professions 
to lead the communities to a well and sane approach to drugs. Here you have the entire conference room. You see it was filled that February the 10th. And on the right, you have two more of my dental colleagues, Leonard Brenner, representing the Greater New York Dental Meeting, where we spoke on vaping and marijuana, and my good friend, oral surgeon Peter Pruden, representing, along with me, the New York State Dental Association Chemical Dependency Committee, where we work to help all people, including dentists, with any kind of drug problem and education and uh, representing that sector of our dental society. Here you have a very powerful mayor, Mayor Kashina Cross, mayor of Glen Arden, Maryland, speaking about her intention to eradicate drugs from her communities and the United States. Very powerful lady with a great singing voice. Next slide, please. Here you have two-time United States champion in handball, Paul Williams, who works to empower youth with the discipline of handball and is also a supporter of drug education and to help to better our communities in the New York area and throughout the United States. And here you have me back again. <laughs> Welcome back. So now the, con the conference was a tremendous success. Many accords were signed. The UNGAS 2006 conclusion of the United Nations Drug World Conference called UNGAS was that education and prevention were key. So at our meeting, we united and we have concluded to help the UN Sustainable Goals to apply the UNGAS 2016 Conclusions of Prevention and Education. And so now I want to give you an event that we held a week later, which was a press roundtable, and we held it in Spanish and in English. So I will pre be presenting that to you, and I'll give it to you exactly as it happened in English and in Spanish, so that all our viewers can partake in it. And uh, engineer, if you can, let's put on the first video for our viewers of what we spoke about regarding Drug Free World Program with sports, education, a notepad, that's a very special thing, and the role of all of us. Let's go ahead. Dos Harlem Globetrotters de Baloncesta. Tuvimos este hombre, que es muy reconocido en baseball, que es dirigente de Valor Sports, who's director of Valor Sports. Y también tuvimos Phil Rucker, Y Phil Rucker está encargado del Rucker Park Professional League. Phil Rucker y el Rucker Park. Uh, me olvidé que idioma estoy hablando. Es español que está hablando. ¿no? <laughs> Inglés. So Phil Rucker que dirige el grupo de Rucker Park, el parque de Rucker, que también es baloncesta. Y los club trotters de baloncesta, Chu Smith y Bobby Hunter, Y este hombre, Lou Bernardi, de baseball, también hicimos acuerdo. ¿Y por qué eso es importante? Porque tenemos que tener un, 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 un programa completo. Because we have to have a complete program. Si nada más educamos los jóvenes, if we only educate the youth, ellos van a decir, sí, pero ¿qué yo voy a hacer cuando no estoy contento? Oh, algo pasa. Our youth are going to say, okay, you're educating me. But what happens when I, I'm not happy? Or I get sad? I need something. <clears throat> Por eso tenemos a los deportes. Y los deportes involucran las mujeres y los hombres. No es nada más por los hombres. ¿Y qué pasa con los deportes? Sports involves men and women. And what happens with sports? Hay algo muy importante que pasa en deporte. There's something very important that happens with sports. En deportes no hay discriminación. In sports there's no discrimination. Y te voy a dar el ejemplo y 
el estudio científico, aquí mismo a mi lado. I'm going to use him as a scientific proof that sports doesn't have discrimination. Cuando tú querías ponchar a ese hombre y él estaba ahí, ¿tú tenías discriminación o tú tenías que hacerlo? When you were going to strike that guy out, was it discrimination or you just had to make everyone and do it? You had to do it. No discrimination. No discrimination. No. Everybody strikes out. Everybody strikes out. And when you were in high school with a wrestler, right. you just had to do it, right? I had to whip him and win. That's it, right? <laughs> had to do it. Now, has that helped you in your life? Without a doubt. Why? Because it taught me about discipline. It taught me about intention. It taught me about purpose. It taught me about mind over body. And it taught me about just following it through to victory. Okay, so now in español, estos deportistas hablaron que cuando ellos estaban en su deporte tuvieron que tener disciplina, tuvieron que tener intención y tenían que aplicar energía. Y en nuestro mundo, yo no sé, tú sabes qué, si yo siempre cojo a este hombre, bomba, y le quito toda su energía, entonces, ¿qué yo estoy produciendo? Right. So if I'm just using this guy next to me, Bomba, and taking his energy, then what am I doing for him? Entonces, in other words. So there you see, and um, translating back and forth English to Spanish, Spanish to English. And basically the gist of the thing was that we were going to have sports, which, you know, my good friend, Harlem Globetrotter, Bobby Hunter, and uh, also, you know, Tyrone, Hollywood, and uh, also Gator Rivers, and also Chu Smith, and so many others. Uh, you know, we're going to have basketball. And Phil Rucker of the Rucker League, and Lou Bernardi of Valor Sports with baseball, and other sporting things, the Maritime Academy. And why sports? Because we need discipline. And sports is something that brings people together. So when we give kids sports, then what happens is it gets much easier to educate them. We have their attention, and now we educate them on drugs. And this program is in 22 languages, and the program is very complete, has a booklet on every drug you can think of, and public service announcements on the same. And the last part of what I was presenting there is that we have something that I'll, we'll go into a little bit more in the video is a notepad. And this notepad is for underprivileged kids, which will have the Drug Free World program on it, and they'll also use for education. So instead of watching uh, video games of killing people, they get something positive. So let's put on the next video where we go on to speak a little bit more and give you a little flavoring more of what we went over at the press conference. Buddha, let's play the next portion. Porque tenemos que hacerlo, because we have to do that. So este programa, y yo sé que mi amigo, my friend, Mayor Adams, my friend, mi amigo Mayor Adams, my friend Mayor Adams, porque es mi amigo, why is he my friend? Porque antes que fue alcalde, Mayor Adams era el presidente the borough of Brooklyn, because before he was president, before he was mayor, excuse me, of the city of New York, he was president of Brooklyn Borough Chapter. And, excuse me, so let's bring this guy next to me, because he was there with me, excuse me, look. Okay, he was there with me in Brooklyn Borough Hall. Él estuvo conmigo en Brooklyn, en el, la, la, what's it, Brooklyn Borough Hall? Brooklyn Borough Hall. Okay, el edificio de Brooklyn Borough. Now, y él and, and President Adams of Brooklyn Borough Hall, of the Borough of Brooklyn, declaró, declared a drug-free world day, un mundo libre de drogas, en el Borough of Brooklyn, and the Borough of Brooklyn. Yo sé que él quiere lo mejor para la gente. I know that Mayor Adams wants the best for people. ¿Por qué? Why? Porque primero, because first, he was a policeman. Mm -hmm. Primero era policía. Y segundo, ayudó 
cuando él no era alcalde. He helped when he wasn't there. Porque él se dio cuenta. Now, entonces, tenemos un programa que tiene este notepad para los jóvenes que no tienen cómo. We have this notepad for the kids who can't do better. Tenemos este programa en 22 idiomas. We have this program in 22 languages. Sobre 16 dro uh, drogas. Over 16 drugs. Para los jóvenes. For our youth. Y también los adultos. And also the adults. Y tenemos, and we have, the athletes. And together, sports, deportes, juntos deportes, educación, education, y tecnología, and technology. Eso forma una fuerzas muy poderosas para llegar. Those form a tremendous force to really get there. And mi placer is my pleasure que ustedes están aquí. It's my pleasure that you're here because you know what's going on in the world. Porque ustedes saben lo que están pasando en el mundo. Hoy es sábado. Today is Saturday. Ustedes quisieran estar en su casa. You'd rather be in your house. Con tu esposo, tu novio, tu esposa, tu novia, with your husband, your boyfriend, your wife, your girlfriend. Pero están aquí. You're here. So ustedes... Son muy importantes. You're very important. Son los medios de comunicación. You're the communicators of the world. Imagínate un mundo fuera de comunicación. ¿Qué va a pasar? Imagine a world out of communication. How are we going to get these drug booklets of drug-free world now without communication? ¿Cómo vamos a poder difundir esto sin comunicación? Es imposible. So, por eso... Tenemos los medios de comunicación y yo creo, this is why we have the communications media and I think it's important that at the And so you see the point is uniting different segments of society and each one doing their part. If you think about life, it's a cooperative effort. It's not one person alone. It's not just somebody out in some area not coordinate with the others. No, it's an amazing miracle that we have. And we're confronting the enemy, which is drugs. And every parent, every mother, father, every political leader, every religious leader, every athlete has the same purpose. None of us want to see our kids addicted on drugs, getting involved in crime, doing something when they're high that the later they regret when they come down, uh, and or losing their lives uh, like many famous actors and entertainers and other people have done. The Drug Free World program is a free program it's the largest non-governmental, non-profit program of its kind in the world, in 180 countries. There are many, many people behind the program, and those of you watching who are interested in learning more, one is you can go on drugfreeworld.org, vidasindrogas.org. Again, I'll repeat that for you, drugfreeworld.org, vidasindrogas.org. And those of you who would like to volunteer or have a question about how to maybe get a presentation 
at your organization or your school or sporting activity, fdfwamericas at gmail.com is the email, fdfwamericas at gmail.com is the email that you can use to contact. You can see that there are so many people in unison and, you know, we talk about the violence, we talk about economic return to normalcy, but when we realize that as human beings, we are the ones who are gonna carry this out. There can be no economic return with a society that's on drugs. Right now in Long Island, there's a young girl who's about 15 years old, Latin American girl, in intensive care in a hospital in Long Island. And the reason she's there is because of vaping. And all she was vaping was the flavoring, but the flavorings are very toxic to our young children, it has something called diacetyl. And so this young girl ended up at the hospital. She's in intensive care and the vaping causes something called popcorn lung. This is without even marijuana or anything else. This is just the flavoring. There's another youngster in New Jersey who recently committed suicide. Why? Because they were bullied so much in their program, in their high school program. High school has a lot of pressure, a lot of peer pressure, and she didn't want to take drugs. But they bullied her, and she felt so stressed out, so ostracized, that she ended up committing suicide. We can talk about figures and statistics, but I had a good friend of mine who runs a very large organization who said to me, I lost my son, my 25 year old son. I never thought it was gonna happen. I opened up the door to his bedroom and he was there dead. When that happens, you realize Numbers mean nothing because when it's your son, when it's your family's child or nephew or really, or their niece or whoever, it's not something that's very pleasant. It's very sad, very sorrowful. So let's do something proactive. Let's take this program, this drug free world program. Let's take, all the help that the athletes are giving us, Phil Rucker with Rucker Park, Ray Haskins, so many more, Hector Perdomo of the Naismith Foundation in Florida. Let's unite education and sports. Let's help our kids with notepads to help them have proper education. Let's unite, let's support this movement Let's create an environment where our kids are safe from drugs, where the violence in the subways decreases, where the humanity increases, where all parents of different races and religions unite, and we actually have a happy, a drug-free world. I'm so happy that you watched this program and may this occur and happen. Whatever you need, call upon us. It's free to you, it's your program, it's our families, it's our world. Have a very good night. Sometimes life can be so damn hard You don't know where to go Everything keeps falling apart Try to do your best, but only God knows that you've given everything you've got. The world takes you down, you just keep moving on at your feet.